Hello and welcome to the next video. Today I'm gonna share eight simple tips how to have a zero waste kitchen. So let's get to it. And for those who don't know me, my name is Dominica and I make videos about veganism, low waste lifestyle and minimalism. So the tip number one is replace paper towels uh, with cloth racks they are washable and you can reuse them again it's unbelievable how much paper we use in the kitchen because we also used to buy paper towels like in this big packaging and the more we have the more we use and if you are a beginner in zero waste lifestyle make sure that you have some more uh, to make your transition easier. Tip number two, buy or use long-lasting items. And this goes for all the kitchen machines and all the kitchen supplies. Get rid of all the items that you not use anymore. You can donate them, you can sell them. Just get rid of them. Um, if you do not use it that much, like for example, rice cooker or ice maker or things like that you should better invest in things that you really need and you use every single day like if you are a smoothie lover and you make smoothies every single day then invest in a good blender uh, that will last for a long time and avoid cheap products because if you buy something cheap, you can definitely gonna replace it in a couple of months. And that's not what you really want, right? Tip number three, again, use reusable bags instead of plastic bags. If you do not have that much money, you can also make your own one, like from old clothes or napkins. They do not need to look perfect, they just need to hold your grocery but don't forget to take them with you. You can have one or two in your handbag or you can have some in your car. Just make sure that you avoid buying plastic bag. Tip number four, use reusable bags for your produce. Either you can take the fruits and veggies loose or you can bring your own reusable bags for your produce. The good example is at the supermarket. We used to put our veggies and fruits in a plastic bag. And this is sometimes driving me like really crazy when I see someone like packing one banana or one or two apples in a plastic bag. Like for what? That's a freaking waste. But also here before you go and buy something new, try to look at your home if you can find something to sew like as I already said like old clothes or napkins and old blankets and stuff like that. Tip number five store your food in glass. So how do you guys store your food? Do you still use plastic wrappers? Try to replace all your plastic with glass containers. That's what I do too. If you still have for example like Tupperware then use it till it get broken. And if you want to invest in something, then buy a collection of glass jars in different sizes for your food and you can store there like grains, nuts, pasta, dried food, almost everything. Tip number six, buy in bulk or buy big packages. Unfortunately, we do not really have a control as the consumers how our food is packed and in a lot of shops our food is packed in plastic what a surprise so what can we do to eliminate our waste as i already said we should try to buy in bulk because there you can take your own container and fill in the food that you want and how much you want if you do not have the chance to buy in bulk, then make sure that you buy bigger packages. Instead of buying 10 
small packaging of rice you can buy for example one big pack of rice firstly you will reduce your waste and the second thing is that you will also save some money because most of the time the bigger packaging is also cheaper than a smaller one tip number seven is shop for packaging and here i mean when we buy food we do not really think about the packaging we only see the food but then when we get home and we want to um get a get rid of our waste then we see oh my god how much trash do i have just from packaging no matter how environmentally friendly the packaging is it's still it still has its negative impact on the environment but if you decide to buy something what is packaged make sure that you buy something that you can reuse again like glass cans tins and things like that just avoid plastic because plastic you cannot use again so the tip number eight is recycling and i put recycling on purpose on the last place because it's not a necessary um, process in a zero waste lifestyle because while something is recycling it needs a lot of energy and this energy has a negative impact on the environment and it also leads to global pollution so that's why recycling should be your last option after reducing, refusing, reusing and composting. Yeah, so I think that was it for today. If you have something to say, please let me know down in the comments. If you want to know more on this topic, make sure you read my blog or you can check me on Instagram where I am posting every single day. And if you don't want to miss any of my other videos, make sure you subscribe. I hope I will see you soon. Bye guys.